These are two very different animals aimed at very different end product architectures, features, and ultimately price points for the type of IoT device that you're designing into. Hello, my name is Jonathan Kay. I'm responsible for the Bluetooth Low Energy Module product line. I'm really excited today to introduce you to the preview of a brand new series of Bluetooth Low Energy Modules uh, that we're doing in partnership with Nordic Semiconductor, our BL54L15 and H20 series of modules. What I have in front of me today is our early preview development kits that you can see on the table, as well as our first spin of the engineering silicon of the SOCs that we've got into the modules you can see on display. The NRF54 series of SOCs are the fourth generation of radio silicon from Nordic Semiconductor. They build on the success of the myriad of NRF52 series of silicon utilized for many years now in a wide range of modules from our BL654 based on the NRF52840 all the way through to the BL652 based on the NRF52832 silicon. Although there is a shared radio, features and capabilities between the NRF54L15 and H20, these are two very different animals aimed at very different end product architectures, features, and ultimately price points for the type of IoT device that you're designing into. On my right hand side here is our BL54H20, absolutely the Rolls Royce of Bluetooth low energy solutions. Dual Cortex M33s clocked up to 320 megahertz, as well as two RISC-V coprocessors up to 128 megahertz. And alongside that, we bring out every IO line from the chipset to the module. The modules themselves come in two variants, one with an integrated chip antenna from our partner Ignean, the Ignean Nano, as well as an MHF4 connector for use with our pre-certified antennas that we can provide with our development kits. It supports Bluetooth Low Energy up to version 5.4 at the moment, as well as 802.15.4 for applications using Thread and Matter. The module itself is about 13 and a half by 10 millimeters, uh, and it has a wide operating industrial temperature range all the way from minus 40 to 105 C and then supporting a transmit power up to a maximum of 10 dBm. The module then has a whole range of software development options from the NRF Connect SDK to utilizing the Zephyr Artos and then ultimately our solution, the MicroPython based Canvas software suite. On my left hand side is the BL54L15, the very capable mass market smaller brother of the NRF54H20. It is really a stripped down variant of the BL54H20. Um, it has the same underlying radio core, but it only has a single Cortex M33 clocked to 128 megahertz. It's got a meg and a half of flash, 256K of RAM, as well as a single RISC-V coprocessor to support a range of peripherals. Again, all of the GPIO of the chipset are brought out to the edge of the module. Very similarly to the H20, two module options. This time, one with a trace PCB antenna, as well as the option for the MHF4 for external antennas. It supports Bluetooth LE 5.4, and again, 802.15.4 for thread and matter. It's a touch bigger than the prior version because it's using the six by six QFM package for the chipset. So 14 by 10 millimeters in size. Again, the same extended industrial uh, operating temperature range and the same raft of development options from the Nordic NRF Connect SDK, Zephyr Artos, and again, a MicroPython based Canvas software suite. In addition to all of those features and capabilities of the chipset brought out into the module, we also support global certifications for each of the modules, that extensive range of pre-certified internal antennas that comes with pretty much all of our module offerings and the BL54 is no exception. This is enhanced further by our commitment to support all the way through your design in process to mass production. So from the part selection to hardware and software integration, technical support as you go through the design, anything you need in terms of help for validation testing, schematic reviews, uh, 3D antenna scans, the certification itself, and then how we can assist you in mass production for your volume supply. We are driven by a commitment to support you globally. 
with technical support and FAE, so field application teams in each global region. Real people, real expertise, with the ability to support our products all the way through to mass production. Finally, this is the preview section for our modules. That means that we have engineering versions of our development kits and modules available for our alpha customers. There is a long development cycle from Nordic Semiconductor for the silicon and chipsets themselves. We will be updating our module hardware as we progress through that development cycle, ultimately going into mass production on the back of Nordic's production schedule, which is currently looking at Q4 2024.